Hey, 405th, Cujo 311 here, coming to you from Clintonville, Wisconsin, inside my classroom. Wanted to talk to you today about a couple of things that I'm doing in my thread, and I wanted to show you Styro Spray 1000, because I've had a bunch of questions about it. Styro Spray 1000 is a two-part polymer that I got from a company in Texas called Industrial Polymers. And you can see what I got in the mail right here. Two cans, marked A and B. And basically what you get is can A is your catalyst. It looks like Coca-Cola. It's really, really thin. And part B is kind of a milky substance. Um, about a cottage cheese consistency. It's really kind of solid. And this is the guts of the polymer right here. Uh, it mixes at a one-to-one -one ratio. So equal parts of the two. Uh, the only thing I would caution you is that with the part B, the creamy part, you need to make sure that you really mix it up well before you, you do any mixing because the solids can separate out some and it just seems to work a little bit better when you mix up B really well before you mix the two together. For me, I just use small plastic cups to mix up the product in. Uh, this stuff goes a long way, so you only need small portions at a time or that's all I've needed so far. Uh, to put it on, you can use a foam brush, you can use a regular brush, uh, you can even use a sprayer to put it on. If you go out on their website, which I'll have linked in my thread, they have some really cool videos of them actually taking styrofoam sculptures that were cut out of styrofoam with hot wire and actually spraying and coating the outside of these styrofoam sculptures with this Star Spray product. It's really cool. I decided to use it on my phone project, my ODST armor project. So I ordered some of the stuff. The two cans cost me about $40 with shipping and handling, and that's for two quarts of product. Um, I decided to try it out on my foam armor, my ODST armor, and um, I wanted to try it out on a couple of other things to see what else I could use it for. I didn't want to jump right into my armor right away. I wanted to test it out. So the first thing that I tested it on was my spare shoulder pad for my ODSD armor. This is probably two coats of the Styro Spray 1000 put on with a foam brush. It went on pretty thick and as you can see it ran at the edges in a couple of places. Uh, after it hardened up the stuff is pretty tough. Uh, it does have a little bit of flexibility to it but uh, I think if I put a couple more coats on it it would be pretty pretty rigid. Uh, you can see that when I tilt it in the light, this stuff is shiny. It's got a really high gloss shine to it. And if you actually took a little bit of 400 grit sandpaper and sanded in between each of the coats, you can actually get almost a glassy finish to the Styro Spray. Uh, for me, I'll probably end up uh, sanding it a little bit and uh, then doing a regular paint job like you would see on most of the other armors on the side. It does have a nice smooth slick surface so it should take paint really well and from all the reading that I've read on this stuff it'll even take automotive paint and uh, that's good because that's what I want to use. I did some testing with paint. Um, I took a regular piece of home insulation. This is poly iso uh, uh, home insulation. The regular stuff like you get at Home Depot. Uh, I didn't sand it at all. I just took Styro Spray I sprayed it on one side, I put two coats on, and after two coats, the Styro Spray had a nice uh, level surface to it. I took a little piece of 400 grit sandpaper, just very lightly, just to knock the, the nips off the top of it, and I hit it with a little, um, a little bit of matte brown uh, paint, just regular spray paint, and you can see that it took the paint pretty well. And that's just regular old crappy home insulation. Um, I think it'll do pretty well holding the paint. Um, make sure when you use the stuff, you're using your, your gloves. Make sure you got on safety glasses. The stuff doesn't have too much of uh, doesn't have too much in the way of fumes, so that's not too bad. Uh, here in the classroom, I have overhead uh, fans that pull all the stuff out of here, so I don't really notice it that much. Uh, if you were going to be spraying this with a sprayer, I would say probably use a respirator just to be safe. Some other things I've used it for, uh, I tried it out on my rookie helmet, just for giggles. Um, I took my Kiru uh, test helmet, which is my spare, 
And uh, this is probably about three coats of the Styro Spray right on top of the paper. Uh, I didn't treat it with anything, didn't do anything special to it. I just took a foam brush and started putting layers of it onto the paper. Um, you can see that it is pretty rigid. Uh, the cool thing about it though is, is when you push on it, it still has a bit of flexibility to it and you can actually pop it right back out. Uh, it doesn't crack or break or anything like that. I think if I really wanted it to be nice and stiff and rigid enough for me to put Bondo on it though, I'd probably have to put maybe three or four more coats on it to get it really good and stiff. And you notice I haven't put, in, I haven't put anything on the inside of the helmet, just on the outside. So that's the helmet. So keep checking with me, I'll keep updating the thread and you'll see where we're going with the star spray. Uh, I also played with a little bit of uh, the good old plastic dip that everybody else uses. Uh, I kind of like this stuff. Uh, it does show some flex lines and some bends and stuff. I think I'm just going to stick with the styro spray right now and see what I can get out of that. Had a couple people send me questions and ask me about my core armor that I'm doing for my ODST and uh, what it looks like up close. This is my armor right here, up close. Uh, this is the core armor. This is the back of my armor here. You can see the shoulder strap areas. And you can see my shoulders here on, this, on the side of the core. The shoulders are simply attached with quick clips that I just hot glued in. Uh, my thinking being that if I ever decided to change out the shoulders or if I wanted to add uh, a different kind of custom look to it, I could just make new shoulders, put clips in, snap them right back in. On the sides here, I put in two quick clips on the side so I can basically toss it over my head snap the clips, pull, t pull it tight and adjust it. So that's the core armor. Uh, this was based off of Hugh Holder's core assets for the ODST. Thanks Hugh. Uh, something else that I talked to Hugh about, these are my goofy ODST boots that I made. Again, this is Hugh's uh, boot cover, uh, reworked this foam, and then the foam boot cover is just glued over a pair of Crocs that I had at home. Uh, the shoe's really comfortable, so I decided to use these because uh, I figured if I walk around a lot in the armor, uh, at least I could be comfortable. They are rather big. Uh, U tells me that when I get all the rest of my armor on, it'll look okay, but for right now, with just these on, I look like Ronald McDonald. Anyway, that's the shoes. And, last but not least, some of you have seen my foam assault rifle that uh, I was playing around with my, in my other thread, and you can see it right here. And the assault rifle was just made from your regular EVA foam, like I'm using for um, the chest armor. And I used the slice uh, assault rifle as a pattern for it. And then basically I used craft foam to do all my details and stuff for it. And uh, this is my assault rifle. It has the pull-out magazine in the back. And uh, it's pretty lightweight, it's got a little bit of flexibility to it, but once I get the styro spray on it and get it painted up, hopefully it'll look really nice. So, that's my projects, that's what I've got going on with my armor, and uh, hopefully when I get some more stuff done, I'll be able to put together another video and post it up for you guys. Thank you to Hugh Holder, Kiru, and uh, all the other people who have jumped on my thread, commented, I really appreciate that, it's always nice to know you guys like what I'm doing. So. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.